Now we're going to have a look at strokes. Before that, we'll have a look at some facts. An estimated 150,000 people in the UK have a stroke each year, and around about 10,000 of these are under the retirement age. There's around about 67,000 deaths due to stroke in the, each year in the UK, and stroke is the third most common cause of death in England and Wales after heart disease and after cancer. Stroke accounts for around about 9% of all deaths in men and 13% of all deaths in women. Stroke has a greater disability uh, impact than any other chronic disease. Over 300,000 people are living with moderate to severe disabilities as a result of stroke. Stroke patients occupy around about 20% of all acute hospital beds and 25% of all long-term beds. There are two main types of stroke. The most common type of stroke is when a clot blocks an artery that carries blood to the brain. This may be caused by a cerebral thrombosis, which is when a blood clot forms in the main artery in the brain. Also, a cerebral embolism, when a blockage caused by blood clot, air bubble or flat globule forms in the blood vessel somewhere else in the body, but it's carried in the bloodstream to the brain. Or a blockage in the tiny vessels deep within the brain. The second type of stroke is a bleed, when a blood vessel bursts calling, causing bleeding or hemorrhage in the brain. This is called a hemorrhagic stroke. It may be caused by um, when a blood vessel bursts in the brain or when a blood vessel on the surface of the brain bleeds into an area between the brain and the skull. A stroke can happen with no obvious cause to people of any age, but there are factors known to increase the likelihood of it happening. Some of these factors can't be changed, other factors can be changed by a change in lifestyle or with medication. The sorts of things that can't be changed is what sex you are. In people under the age of 75, more men have stroke than women. Strokes are more common in people over the age of 55 and the risk continues to rise with age. Arteries harden and become furred up by building of up of cholesterol and other debris. The first signs that someone has had a stroke are very sudden. Symptoms include numbness, weakness or paralysis on one side of the body. Signs of this may be a drooping arm, leg, maybe a dropped face or dribbling mouth, slurred speech or difficulty finding words or understanding speech sudden blurred vision or a complete loss of sight, confusion, unsteadiness or even a severe headache. A very good way of identifying uh, if someone has had a stroke is a uh, little mnemonic called FAST, face, arms, speech test. This is a simple check to see whether someone has had a stroke and it helps you recognise it. You may well have seen this whole thing on a lot of television uh, adverts on uh, all sorts of UK television and even some European TV. The F stands for the face, facial weakness. Can the person smile? Has their mouth or eye dropped? Do they look the same as they did before? A, arms weakness. Has the person got any problem lifting their arms? Maybe are they holding their arms or could they put their arms straight out in front of them and keep it level? Speech. Can the person speak clearly and understand what to say? So maybe ask them questions, not questions that just answer yes or no. The T is time. Time to call the emergency services. So remember, F is face, A, arms, S, speech, T, time. This is the FAST principle. If you see any signs of this, you must call the emergency services immediately. Call them, tell them, tell them what, what you suspect, because if people can get treatment for strokes very, very quickly, then long-term long -term side effects can be reduced, or in some cases, cases completely eliminated. If someone, if someone has had, had what looks, looks like a stroke, but then they start to feel a lot better, better again, again, they must, must be checked, checked out by a doctor or to a hospital. So if anything you ever suspect, anybody of any size or age has a stroke, always get them checked out, even if they appear to have recovered.